Welcome back folks. This here is a, an LED lighting panel. It's supposed to be rated at uh, 50 watts at 110 volts and it is supposed to be a, an outdoor rated floodlight. Now I, I, I brought these in I, I guess about a month ago or so and they're for improving the shop lighting in here. Every time I lean over the bench I create shadows. So I thought I'd move the lighting such that it doesn't create any shadows and increase the brightness. So I got a bunch of these based on a big Clive video I saw about them. Now he wasn't terribly impressed with them, but I figured, ah, you know, I'm going to be using them indoors anyway, so, and they're going to be out of reach. Uh, they should be okay. Now, uh, one of the things that he found when he uh, took it apart was that uh, they use uh, standard uh, ICs for driving the LEDs. And those uh, those ICs are programmable, so you can you can change the amount of current going through the LEDs by changing the resistors. So these screws, there's a lot of these screws, and they're difficult to get out for some reason. They seem to be very fine threaded, um, self tapping screws, so they're a bit difficult to pull out. A bit of a chore to get all these out. Let me speed up through this and. Uh, Come back when I'm got these horrible screws out. Well, that, that was a truly unpleasant experience. I mean, the, most of the problem is because of the, the ultra fine thread on these. I mean, it, it's it's about twenty turns to get each one of these darn things out, and then they're pretty tight. Okay, so here we have the lens that comes off there, and it looks like we have some uh, silicone piping around here to seal the, off the chamber inside. So that's, I guess that makes them waterproof. It, uh, I'm not gonna bother putting that back in again. It just seems like a pain in the ass. And here it is. Now it's quite a bit different than the, the ones that uh, Big Clive had. I mean, externally they look exactly the same, but in his case, there was uh, a separate plate. So there was the, this case, the back of the case, and then there was a, another plate with all the LEDs on it and the controller chips. And that was kind of glued onto that. Um, but this is, this is circuit board is actually printed right on to this case. So it's like an aluminum backed circuit board and they use the case as the aluminum for that. So this is much better. It'd be, there'd be much better heat transfer to the case, much better cooling. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, I'm going to change these resistors anyway, just to make sure that this thing lasts a little bit longer. Uh, writing on those is is terribly small, six point looks like six point three ohms. So if we make those ten ohms, make those ten ohms, we should uh, reduce the current through the LED significantly. Okay, here we're all set up to to measure the current the way it is with the six ohm resistors. Plug it in. Give it a minute or two to settle down. So it looks like we're around about 161 milliamps or so. It'll be interesting to see what it drops down to when we put the, the 10 ohm resistors in. All right, we'll be right back after that. Well, a change of plan here. So, we got three regulating ICs here. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just take off the resistor off one and kind of disable this one. And that will reduce the, the current by one third. And uh, that should be sufficient. These are just insanely difficult to get off and to resolder. I needed two irons on this and I had to have the irons attached until the whole metal substructure here did get up to the melting point of the solder. And um, so I figure soldering them back on is just going to be almost impossible. So I'm just going to remove one of those on each one of the lamps and that should give us a uh, sufficiently reduced current through these diodes. So let's, let's check it out now for the, the amount of current that's going through it. Yes, plug it in and find out what we're at now. We'll give it a minute or two to settle down as usual. Yeah, so we're down around about 116, 117 milliamps. So it looks like we've dropped a bit over 40 milliamps from uh, what it was before. 
and that's that should do fine I think there's uh they're still brighter than heck um, so that'll be great we will um, we'll proceed with that and so once I've got three of them modified uh, then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do for for the lighting in down in here all right we're back well my wrist is uh, totally done for the day trying to get all those screws out so I've got a whole bunch of screws left over. I'm only going to put four back in. Again, I'm not putting the silicon piping in to seal them. We're not going to use them outdoors. And four screws is plenty enough to hold those little lenses on. So uh, yeah, I've got these. Uh, these screws are not going back in. No, sir. So I made this uh, eight foot long channel here out of some, I think it's three sixteenths or one quarter inch thick pine. And uh, that's going to be the channel that the wiring goes down through for the lights. And the lights are going to be mounted on this side. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to mount them up. So this is what it'll look like. The floodlights will be spread out, one in the middle and one on each end. And then I've got two LED strips that'll go in between. And there's the bench. They're going to go right up, kind of up right there, right over this part of the bench here. So the light will be coming directly down. So you won't get this effect anymore with the other lights that I have in here right now. So there's the light rail, for want of a better word, installed, wired up, and everything is in place. And you can see. Well, I hope you can see that it's uh, you know, like in the middle of the workspace, shining down, middle of the workspace. So the ambient light is 91 lux. And when I turn on those overhead lights, we go up to 700 and let's call it, it's going down, let's call it 750. Lux. So yeah, that's uh, that's a considerable improvement, and uh, yeah, I'm going to enjoy this going forward. Thanks for joining me, guys. We'll see you in the next one.